friends how are you i am tutan once again welcome to easy to learn so today we will discuss about the part 2 of hemolytic disease of part hemolytic disease of the new bone so in my last video you have seen that part 1 of hemolytic disease that is introduction definition and blood group incompatibility so today we will see that part 2 that is clinical manifestation diagnostic evaluation and prevention so in clinical manifestation, we have seen jaundice, hyperbilirubinemia, anemia, hepatosplenomegaly, hypovolemic shock, cardiac failure, and pleural effusion. So jaundice means so when we call when we say that a person is having the jaundice. So when the person is or baby is having that yellowish discoloration of the skin, membrane, body, and then tissue or the sclera of the eyes, then we should we call that baby is jaundice. And this jaundice is occurs due to the hyperbilirubinemia. Hyperbilirubinemia means it's a increased level of bilirubin level more than the normal. So normal bilirubin level is 0.22-1.2 mg per dilute. And next is anemia. Anemia is occurs due to the breakdown of RBC or destroying of RBC. Next is hepatosplenomegaly. Hepatosplenomegaly is a very large larger of spleen that is enlargement of spleen is called as hepatosplenomegaly hypovolemic shock hypovolemic shock it is a decreased blood volume level in the body and next is cardiac failure cardiac failure is due to the <coughs> hypovolemic shock it leads to the cardiac failure and pleural effusion Pleural effusion means there will be collection of fluid in between the pleural space. So this is about the clinical manifestation. That is jaundice, hyperbilirubinemia, anemia, hepatosplenomegaly, hypovolemic shock, cardiac failure, and pleural effusion. So next we will see about the diagnostic evaluation. So diagnostic evaluation. In diagnostic evaluation means that in that by the testing or by the investigation we can know that the baby is having the hemolytic disease or not. So blood group test so by doing the test of blood of mother or baby we can analyze that if the baby is having that hemolytic disease or not indirect pump test and direct pump test pump, te pump test means the test which is done to detect that to detect the antibodies attack the fetal erythrocytes or not indirect pump test means the test which is done before the delivery and direct pump test means the test which is done after the delivery ultrasound by ultrasound we can know that if there is any spleno, hepatosplenomegaly is there or not or any enlargement of any organs of our body that by ultrasound we can analyze that then next is amniocentesis amniocentesis means it is the test which is done to test that in amniotic fluid there any bilirubin present or not so by amniotic test we can identify that bilirubin level is there in amniotic fluid or not umbilical cord blood sampling so by by taking sample of umbilical cord we can analyze that in blood there will be a present of bilirubin or not so this is the diagnostic evaluation of hemolytic disease so blood group test, indirect comb test, direct comb test, ultrasound, amniocentesis, and umbilical cord blood surface. So this is the investigations of the hemolytic disease. By doing this test, we can analyze that the baby is having that hemolytic disease or not. Next, we see it about the prevention. So in prevention, what we will do? So our first goal is to prevent the jaundice of the baby. So by prevent the zombies, we have to give that anti D gamma globulin drugs to the Rh negative mothers to prevent the Rh iso immunization. And next is by next prevention is to prevent that bilirubin level. So to prevent the bilirubin level, we should go to phototherapy, drug therapy, and EBT. EBT means that exchange blood transfusion. So photo, in phototherapy, then it is a non-invasive non and easy method where they use the fluorescent light or LED lights to decrease the bilirubin level. So in phototherapy, there will be more complication to the baby like 
there will be skin rashes or dehydration or hyperthermia or hyper hypothermia to the baby and there will be damage to the ear or eyes so we should look after the all the things in the baby we should observe the baby continuously if the baby is went for the phototherapy so next is drug therapy so there will be different drugs which are used to prevent the hemolytic disease or decrease the bilirubin level so in drug therapy like charcoal and agar so this type of drugs are used in that to prevent the hemolytic disease of newborn the next is the ebt means the exchange blood transfusion so in exchange blood transfusion what they will do so suppose the baby's rbc is destroyed or that immature rbc so they will exchange the immature rbc to the new rbc so they will take the new rbc and they will remove the immature rbc so this is the exchange blood transfusion on so by doing this phototherapy drug therapy and ebt we can prevent the hemolytic disease so this is the part 2 of hemolytic disease so if, the, if you have any doubt so you can share in my comment so so this is about the part 2 of hemolytic disease so my classes is really affecting to you so please share like and subscribe to your classmates so it will be very helpful to others so if those who are subscribed my channel thank you very much and those who have not subscribed please subscribe it will be helpful for you thank you very much have a nice day